I am proud to offer into nomination the name of the next Vice President of these United States, Raymond Shaw! A remarkable development. 24 hours ago, New York Congressman Raymond Prentice Shaw wasn't even being mentioned as a possible candidate for the vice presidential nomination four years from now, much less this current convention. Some incredible news from the convention floor tonight. Like a long shot catching the favorite on the backstretch of the Kentucky Derby, Raymond Shaw has overtaken Senator Thomas Jordan to gain the vice presidential nomination. Raymond Shaw bears the lineage of the fabled Prentice family dynasty, grandson of legendary industrialist and diplomat Tyler Prentice, son of controversial Senator Eleanor Prentice Shaw, who took over the seat vacated by her husband, the esteemed John Shaw, when he died, tragically, over 20 years ago. For many, Raymond Prentice Shaw is an enigma, the millionaire Harvard Honor student who enlisted in the infantry, refusing the officer's commission to which he was entitled. Media shy and reclusive, Raymond Shaw's life was forever changed on the killing fields of Kuwait, where he won the Congressional Medal of Honor for combat bravery. Two members of Sergeant Shaw's famed Lost Patrol, Private First Class Edward Ingram and Private First Class Robert Baker III were killed. Their guide, a civilian contractor, disappeared in the ambush. But Sergeant Shaw heroically fought off the enemy and guided the shell-shocked survivors of the Lost Patrol across hostile terrain to safety. Raymond uh, Shaw is probably the kindest, kindest bravest, bravest, warmest, warmest most selfless, selfless human being I've ever, ever known. A celebrated war hero who dedicated himself to public service after Desert Storm. The Medal of Honor winner, beloved by the men of the Lost Patrol.